faces are probably the most important visual stimuli that we have out there. Back in 2020, a joint research study was done by York University in Toronto and a university in Israel that found masks have made it difficult for adults to process faces. The researchers have pivoted their focus to children now as kids are also having difficulty recognizing faces. They proved this by doing the kids version of the Cambridge face memory test to test the ability of school aged children to recognize faces with and without masks. And they were even slightly more impaired in their face recognition ability. So instead of 15% decrease, we found a 20% decrease. So children show similar patterns to adults, maybe even worse. The question now from experts, especially with kids back in school and having to wear masks for safety, is if this could potentially impact social interactions with peers and educators, as well as the ability to form important relationships. One of the things that I do happen to know is that facial expression really allows someone to see fully emotion. Uh, if you're not able to verbalize what's going on with you, sometimes it comes across on your face. And so sometimes children are unable to pick up on people's emotions and there can be sometimes less empathy. The research found that children are less effective at processing emotions when people around them are wearing face masks. That's why Francis, who is a social worker and psychotherapist, says it's important for parents to be proactive. This is the world that we live in and I talk to parents all the time about trying to mitigate that by um, you know, having spaces where children can remove their masks. Francis says to do that in a COVID safe manner, for example, outdoor play. Both Francis and the team at York University want to reiterate that they do believe that masks are safe and needed during the pandemic, but there can be other impacts to this COVID-19 safety measure. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.